had good care, high quality care, why shouldn't the hospital and the staff be given the thanks for that? If I'm honest, when we first heard about friends and family, um, I was possibly a little cynical. But in actual fact, I have to swallow my words, because as we've rolled it out, um, I can see great value. I was anxious because I wondered what it entailed and if patients would use it and be truthful on it. But they do really use it. They write really nice things about the wards. The only thing I have got to mention is my pain relief. I just mention it and they'll say, yeah, we'll sort it out. It may really only be small things, but small things when you're not very well can look an awful lot larger. The concept is that every patient coming through the NHS should be asked their opinion. It sounds so easy, but already we're seeing it transform hospitals, transform care. The I Want Great Care system works really simply. It just integrates with what hospitals are already doing. Literally, when they say goodbye to the patient as they leave hospital, they say, please fill in the form or go to this website and tell us if you'd recommend the care to a friend and family. It's been running in this hospital now for, I believe, five, six months. Uh, we've just launched it into our minor injuries units in Trowbridge and Chippenham, as well as part of the Trust. Um, within our maternity areas, we're trialling out there. But we also have it now in place within our A&E department and within our inpatient wards. The beauty of this system, really, is the simplicity, the regular drip for feed of small amounts of information that enables you to, to really think about the areas that you want to focus on. People often say in the NHS is we need more information. Actually, we don't need more information, we need more intelligence and it need, we need to be able to act on that. So for us, that's what I Want Great Care can offer us, is that intelligence that we need. So the patients have a choice of how they deliver that information and that's either to give the card to the senior nurse in charge or give that into the post box or they can do it online if they prefer. We're a cancer unit and a haematology unit, so we have a lot of patients coming back time and time again for their treatment. So that we, we want to have the assurances that it feels right for them. And I think they actually like the opportunity to be open and honest with us. And there's so much more in the press now, what with the Mid-Staffordshire problems. And people know that it's going to be listened to and actually their opinions are going to be heard. I Want Great Care boils it all down. Simple five-star rating and a score of how well one ward does compared to another. So we provide the hospitals with a simple um, sheet for every ward in every hospital, either monthly or then weekly, that they can display on the wall, share with patients, share with staff. There might be odd bits and bobs that people probably wouldn't bother to complain about formally, but that can be recorded and are really helpful in making a difference in day-to-day -day life on the, on the wards and in the different teams. When the report comes in, we see an instant response and um, we all like reading them because it's nice to have the instant feedback. When we get a negative response, I like to look at all the cards that we do get and then I can see if there's a theme and what we can work on, what we can improve on and what we can do to make the patient's experience better. There needs to be feedback because I think from patients you can gain inside information that perhaps because you work in the environment all the time you might miss or you just don't see. So I think if someone can offer those little tips that can help iron out something then I think it's warranted to do it that way. The name of the patient I've got on the board was getting discharged and that's when I approached the patient with the survey. Most patients are happy to fill them in and they want you to read what they've put. We've had a lot of positive, a lot of them. Oh, said how, how wonderful the ward is, how clean the ward is, how friendly the staff are, how jolly the staff are. It just puts a bit of a smile on your face. 
Well, we've been doing it since March now, and um, the first month we had 52 returns. The second month, April, we had 92 returns. And for May, we actually had 95, and that was pretty much 100% of our patients we'd had that month that had sent the returns back. We have had some feedback, particularly um, sometimes about the noise at night, and one or two people who felt they've not had the proper communication, but that then gives us something that we can work on to improve. We don't see it as negative feedback, it's constructive feedback. Staff morale has just gone through the roof. Um, the staff absolutely love it. They ring me all the time when there are reports coming out. You know, how have we done this month? What is our score? Everybody loves it. Very, very enthused by it. I think there's a lot of negativity in the NHS today um, and it's particularly important for nurses to actually understand what our patients think about the care we're giving. When we first came into nursing it was important what our patients thought and we did find that out and then we seem to have lost our way a little bit along the line I think and now the focus is coming back onto the patients and what matters to them. It's probably our most important piece of information that we get and um, patients very often don't know how good the clinical quality is and that comes over a period of time, but they know instantly whether they've had a positive experience of the hospital, a positive experience of the people that they've met, and whether they've been made to feel like human beings and felt listened to. It's a marvellous hospital. It, it's, uh, I can't fault it at all. They're doing it right, aren't they? They're, they're doing something right, if you get me, if you understand me. They're doing something right, so I can't knock it at all, as I say. The patient is put at the centre of, of, of the care. They are the ones that are going to write on that feedback form. But I have to say that there is more positives than negatives. And I you know that has surprised me a little bit uh, because I think that sometimes we're in that culture where people will just complain about anything. But my goodness, um, friends and family has proved me wrong there, proved me wrong. We're getting an unprecedented rate of returns, really. In any other sector, um, if you could get 1% of your users or your clients to provide feedback, you'd be doing incredibly well. Friends and Family Test, nearly all the trusts we work with exceed the 15% target, most around 20%, some even in some areas getting up to 30-40% from maternity, for example. That shows a huge appetite from the public feedback. We've tried to look at trending the themes and comments, particularly from patients on the wards, so that we can feed back to the ward sisters. Here are some common things across the trust. So it's not just you. There are things that we as an organisation haven't got right. So looking at those areas where there are concerns and then comparing it to areas where that scores really well. So what do those ward staff do differently? So it's spreading some of that learning. Hospitals looking at the data that's collected through I Want Their Care are recognising that it can be a very sensitive uh, alarm, a smoke detector if you like, for when quality of care might fall. The patient voice is a sensitive uh, metric and what we do need is metrics that warn us about when there's going to be disasters rather than what we've had in the past, systems that report disasters. There are more teams that want to um, use the, the, the system, so our um, district nursing teams, our neighbourhood teams out in community are starting to explore how they might get uh, feedback using friends and family. And um, we've been working on deciding what additional questions we might want to ask as part of the, the format as well. The, the friends and family test is a first, it's the beginning, and we're only going to see it build and build I think. We already know it's going to be going into paediatrics, into obstetrics at the end of uh, 2013. And in a few years, we'll look back and we'll wonder how we ever managed without listening to the voice of our patients. We're listening to what our patients want. And I think we're trying to tailor our care much more than, than ever before. But excellence is a journey, not a destination. So we're always striving to get there. And having the sort of support of patients uh, informing us and, and helping us shape that is going to be really key moving forward. We have over a million patients a year come through our doors. There's a million opportunities to do something extraordinary for those people. And I Want Great Care was a, a way of giving those million people an opportunity to say what worked, what didn't work, that the million people coming next year could get a better experience, but also a way of those million people saying, you've got some great staff. They did some extraordinary things and we wanted to say thank you to those staff.